the Webb Telescope has finally trained its instruments toward one of the most fascinating worlds, Saturn's moon, Titan. Titan is the largest and one of the most unusual moons in the solar system. It's the only world in our solar system other than Earth that currently has rivers, lakes, and seas. But instead of water, that liquid is made of hydrocarbons including methane and ethane. Titan is also the solar system's only moon to have a dense atmosphere, about four times thicker than Earth's. Its atmosphere is made of nitrogen and methane, giving it a fuzzy orange appearance. It's so dense that it obscures visible light from reflecting off the moon's surface, making it difficult for us to see different features. Astronomer Connor Nixon from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center planned for Webb to spend a total of 15 hours of its first year studying Titan. Nixon's team was specifically interested in studying the moon's atmosphere, mapping the distribution of the haze, and identifying new gases. Since Webb sees an infrared light, it has recently managed to peer through the thick haze of Titan and observe its clouds. The telescope saw what appeared to be two clouds in the northern atmosphere. The cloud on the left was larger and located near the Kraken Mare, the largest known liquid sea of methane on the moon's surface. The team wanted to further investigate the clouds, so they reached out to the team behind the Keck Observatory to help confirm the clouds and track their movement. About two days later, a series of Keck images showed similar clouds, likely the same ones, but slightly different in shape and displaced because of the moon's rotation relative to Earth. The moon's lakes and seas form clouds and cause rain from the sky. Researchers also believe Titan has an internal liquid water ocean. Scientists also collected spectra with Webb's Near Infrared Spectrograph, or short, NearSpec, which helped them peer through many wavelengths hidden to ground-based telescopes like Keck by Earth's atmosphere. Webb's infrared spectrometers also allowed it to pinpoint the altitudes of clouds and hazes with much better accuracy. The telescope will be able to study the composition of Titan's lower atmosphere and surface even better than the Cassini spacecraft, and to investigate what is causing the bright features seen over the South Pole. The team expects further Titan data from Webb's NearCam and NearSpec, as well as the first data from Webb's Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, in May or June of 2023. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.